six, five, four, three, two, one. So right away again, make sure to get my rage up. I'm gonna get that first tooth and claw proc in. As soon as I get above 60 rage, I'm gonna start my SD rotation, just as before. I'm not gonna use my SD here, there's no point because he's doing his saw blade RP. As soon as he turns around, I'm gonna pop it again. Something else slash. Make sure I get all my debuffs on the boss. Nice. And I'm gonna make sure that I pop my bark skin for the upcoming nice. third stack and his frenzy. So he's gonna frenzy during that, there it is. As soon as he turns around, I'm gonna bark skin. And I still have my SD rolling from before. Please now, since I have Barkskin, I'm going to let my SD charges restack because the ad's about to come downstairs right now. Five seconds of even group. So I'm going to taunt the ad, make sure I get my um, make sure I get my Sunder up on it right away. And then I'm going to start stacking my bleeds on it right away. Make sure I dip it in the saw blade. And once again, I'm going to save my Berserk here and my haste from the herbalism for as soon as the ad lands from its uh, death room above. So I'm going to make sure I move away in just a second, Sorry, yes. keeping my active mitigation up. So there it is. I'm going to pre-pop my done. CDs, pop my Berserk, right. and then I'm going to mangle spam it to death. A drink cap. So there it is. Okay, that was much better. It's not going to live. Coming back in. That's so I'm going to charge the boss back. Make sure that I have rage when I taunt. Taunting. Make sure I have rage for when I taunt the boss. And I'm also going to bark skin this fourth one. I don't want to dip low like I did last time. I almost proc my cloak on the second one. I probably have enough health to survive it, but there's just no point risking it if I don't need to. So after I eat that, I'm going to frenzied regen to full health, and I'm going to keep my savage defense up at all times. Now here I'm going to Ursul's for the add when it comes down, and for my fifth stack. Trap Go ahead, see and PS me. It's on cooldown. So there is a wood. Okay, so there's the PS. I have my Ursul's up. That time I ate it no problem. I didn't proc my stack. I didn't proc my cloak. And I make sure to keep this ad dipped in fire and have all of the debuffs on it while maintaining my savage defense. This ad still hits pretty hard. There's no point accidentally procing my cloak on it. I might need it later for a boo boo stacks like on last pull. So as soon as it goes up in the air, I'm going to fairy fire it one more time, charge back in, and mangle spam it. Well, charge back in just a second too early. Either way, I got the mangle spam uh, taunting. Up there. So I'm going to taunt, I'm going to keep an eye on the I'm timer. My shock's coming in about five seconds, so I'm going to oh, savage defense, and, and I'm back. going to uh, bark skin as well. That's enough to survive the sixth stack. And now it's Laryl's turn to tank, so he'll be tanking off me, uh, tanking it off me That's in just a moment. And once that happens, I'm basically going to use all my rage on Maul. I'm not actually tanking anything. There's no point using Savage Defense. If I need a heal from the AoE, I have Frenzied Regen as well. The Shredder is coming down in just a moment, and I want to have my Savage Defense stacks for that. So I'm going to taunt it. I'm going to get my debuffs up on it right away and make sure I get my bleeds. I'm going to wait for the Saw Blades to go through. And then I'm going to move the Shredder over into position. Make sure I have three last rate uh, stacks on it. And then it's going to go back up in the air very soon. When it does, I'm going to move okay. away and I'm going to charge back in and mangle it to death. Should be able to kill it fairly quickly. So while it's in the air, okay, I'm going to charge back in. I'm going to get the mangle on it. Should it finish it off? There it is. So now I'm back on the boss. I'm going to be helping uh, just DPS. Any tooth and claw procs I get, I will use to help Laryl during this tanking. Tooth and claw, tooth and claw. And I'm going to lit, obviously, while well, they're already at 3, but I'm, if, if they weren't, I would let my Savage Defense stacks recharge in this uh, at this point. Okay, so there's his 7th stack, taunting. I taunt, but get my Savage Defense up right away. And I'm going to have a full 3 stack rotation of Savage Defense here. I'm going to start applying my bleeds to the Shredder right now. I want it to be debuffed already by the time I get my first stack and on. Okay, so he's going to Frenzy here in a moment too. There's my first stack. And keep the shredder debuffed. So there's the death from above. We should be able to finish it off before the death from above. Mm, almost. Nope. So I'm going to move out just to make sure. Keep my savage defense up here. Make sure I have frenzied regen right away after the second stack. And I'm going to bark skin here as well. Just because I have a gap in rotation right now. I'm going to let my savage defense stacks recharge. I don't need to send even group again. And once that's done in three seconds, I'll start spamming Savage Defense again. So there it is. Savage Defense is back up now. There's my third stack. I'm going to heal it off. I'm going to keep Savage Defense up. Now, I'm about to get my fourth stack here. I don't have my Bark Skin as I did just use it, but the boss should be dead soon. So I'm going to use my Ursox here instead. Usually I wouldn't do that, obviously. Um, but since the boss is almost dead, I can do that and survive no problem. So the Shredder's down now. Laryl taunts the boss off me, and I'm going to move the Shredder out. I'm going to use my Worgen Sprint, too, just to spend uh, a bit less time in the fire. 
and make sure I keep Savage Defense up on this ad. Now the boss is about to die, I probably won't even get to kill this ad. But on this ad, it would be the same story again. On that ad, it would have been the same story again. Uh, I would have pulled it, I would have popped my Berserk and my Haste from... I would have popped my Haste from Herbalism and my Berserk on it after it did the Death from above. I would have charged in and then Mangle spammed it to death, making sure that all my Bleed debuffs were up on the ad at the time.